and former militant leaders from the nine states of the Niger Delta region don't call on President Mamadou Buhari for the need for the completion for the East-West Road project and increase for the funding for the presidential amnesty program so that they then go fit to sustain plus encourage the security situation for the region. The ex-militant leaders where they under the edges of a leadership a peace plus a cultural develop initiative still yearn the president to make sure say the successful completion for the Ogoni cleanup plus uh, by force the oil multinationals to engage youth from the region for gainful employment to take sustain the ongoing peace for the area. The, all the pocket violence that has been taking place in our riverine areas has been slowing down because of the, the quick payment of the stipends. Most times we do advise our people to in the that anybody that has grievances should channel it to the right area. It's wrong for we to take laws into your hands. So we plead with Niger Dentans, we plead with those that are involved in the amnesty program to support Professor Charles Dokobo. The thing that is bothering us is the East West Route. We have said it two or three weeks ago when we met that Mr. President should help us and uh, work on the East-West Road because that East-West Road is really giving us uh, uh, so much problem because uh, as you can see, like a few days ago, we heard of accident, serious accident that happened along the East-West Road. So if they can uh, uh, key into action of uh, constructing that East-West Road properly, uh, we think... Uh, this uh, ugly situation that is on uh, will stop. We, the leaders, are saying that the new person whom Mr. President appointed is doing extremely well. We just want to wonder why, basically because he's not a politician. That a this program is a security program that doesn't need to have any bridge on the way. Such bridge might bring back the bad old days that we do not pray for. Most of them have been trained most have been empowered, and the empowerment process is still ongoing. That's why we, are, that's why we always call Mr. President to release more funds to the office so that they can do more of these trainings and empowerment.